Welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to generate a lookup table using MATLAB. And for this example case, I'll be using parameters of a PMSM motor so that I can use it for my control algorithm. Here you can see the data the way I've stored. And now moving to MATLAB, I open the model based calibration toolbox, which we'll be using in this uh, tutorial. So first step is to import data. And uh, here we'll be importing the Excel sheet that I just showed you. Once imported, you will see your data plotted into Y and X axis. So the first step is to add filters to your desired um, requirements. Here I'll be defining my current should be less than 300 amps and my flux should be less than the flux allowed for the respective operating range. Once applied, now I go to tools, test groups, and here I have to define a test grouping. So this essentially creates a tolerance level of values for uh, whatever parameter you enter. So in this case, if I enter torque and I give a tolerance of one, that means uh, if there's a difference of 0.1 and 0.2 with, uh, between two different uh, operating points of torques, it will group them as one operating point, hence giving you uh, different combinations of ID and IQ with respect to that torque grouping. So similarly, I apply that for torque and speed, and this is how we get the response. Now go ahead and save and close this um, data model. Now the next step is to fit the model. So click on fit models. So you will get this window. So click on point by point and you'll see three boxes, responses, local inputs and operating points. Uncheck this option. Click on IQ and put that into responses, ID for local inputs and torque and speed for the operating point inputs. This is uh, specific to my requirements of uh, a lookup table based on ID, IQ, outputs of and inputs as stock. So now we'll start fitting the model. This might take a few minutes, so I'll be speeding up the video. So now the model is fitted and it's showing us the response of the system once the model has been fitted. So it will use different statistical models on top to fit the data, the data points that we enter. And we can change the y-axis factor, which in this case I've changed to torque and now to speed. You can see the responses once the model has been fitted. So on top uh, are the statistical models that they use to fit. So go ahead and save the project. And this will be in a dot .mat format. So uh, give it a name with the dot .mat extension. So once saved, go to the home page. And then now we have to generate the calibration based on the data that we just fitted. So this opens the cage browser. And here we have to import our data model. So since we had given IQ as a response, it's showing the original name as IQ. So we'd want to create new. So click on OK. Now here we have imported the model. Now we have to add few functions. So for my uh, use case, I'd want to add 
the formula of is which is the resultant current which is 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 equal to square root of id square and iq square and then we have to mention the inputs assign inputs the next function model that i'm adding is uh, a tpa which is torque per ampere this is required for my controller uh, design so essentially i want to use this function model to find the maximum torque when i'm going to optimize my model optimization will be shown in the later part of the video so once i've added both the function models i'll go ahead and save the project so this is a dot cag format so similarly give it a name um, it's better if you keep all these files in one directory so that it's uh, more organized now once it's saved we'd want to go to the optimization Uh, sorry uh, lookup tables and trade-off so once we click on lookup tables and trade-off we want to click on iq so it's because that is the response of uh, the data model that we've defined here we'll get uh, get the lookup table dimension uh, window so we have y-axis as stock x-axis as speed and you can define your table rows and table columns if you want to do that you have to uncheck the uh, use model operating points checkbox so for my specific data i'm keeping the table rows as 31 and table columns as 29 so once you are happy with your dimensions click on next check on the optimization slash trade off and hit finish once you do that uh, in a few minutes, we will get a lookup table and the trade-offs with respect to those function models that we've created. So here we have our ID table. And on the left side, if we go to the browser and go to the IQ table, you'll see this. So now we'd want to uh, the optimizations that I had mentioned earlier. So in optimizations, we'll be using the TPA parameter as our optimization uh, parameter. So here, click on TPA, then make sure your objective type is to maximize because in my example, I want to maximize the amount of torque I get for the uh, respective ampere in that operating point. Click on finish and it will give us this window here we'll have to add one constraint that uh, my is which is the resultant gun shouldn't be less than or equal to 300 uh, so after we mention that click on ok and you can see the constraint is added now click on the soft constraint check boxes here and before running check all your settings so tps maximize and all the checkboxes are checked, so click on run. Now it will start generating the optimized data points for our lookup table. I'm going to be speeding up the process. This will take some time uh, depending on your system's processing capabilities. Once that is done, we will get our final ID and IQ uh, optimized points and lookup table uh, points that we can just fill into our lookup table. Now the point of doing this activity for this specific data set is to ensure that we get the maximum torque at different operating points. So if you look at the objective graphs, you can see that it is taking the maximum torque for that ampere. So this does satisfy requirements and this is how the graph looks like for IQ. So once we're satisfied with what um, response we're getting and with the different data points we have, 
we now would like to fill the lookup table with these data points. So make sure your table will be giving us ID and IQ as two different outputs. And here we'll be using cliff fill column based as a fill method for filling our lookup table. Now it starts filling the ID table and the IQ table. This shouldn't take a lot of time. So now we have our table filled on the top left corner and this is a 3D curve that uh, MATLAB helps us uh, to visualize these data points. So the axes have been labeled as well so that it's easier for us to notice what are the different data points we have. Now, once you're satisfied, the, uh, satisfied with our optimized lookup table, we can go ahead, save the project, and then we'd want to export these data points. So to do that, go to home again and go to ex in the export section, click on lookup tables, and you'll get different options to export your data points. So I'll be using simple MATLAB file because I'll want to import this into my Simulink uh, model. So I'll just save it as uh, test1.m. So now that's saved, uh, let me open up that file and show you how the data has been saved. So here you can see uh, the XY parameters have been mentioned and ID and IQ values for the respective torque and speed um, points have also been given. Now using this, we can feed the data into our model and get our required table. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a like. And if you want to watch more, check out our other videos.